thing that I want to show you here is very, very, very important about VirtualBox. Okay, if you recall, if you look back and you recall, what I did was I cloned this original machine. Okay, so it's called Debian Clone. Now here's something that's very important for you to understand as we go forward with some of our labs and some of our courses that are coming up, uh, especially your networking course. For two computers to talk on the internet, they need two different things. They need an IP address, which is normally assigned by the administrator or dynamically, meaning automatically, by the system itself. Okay, that's a whole other concept that we'll talk about in another class. Uh, or it can be assigned manually, meaning static, all right, we, and that's where an administrator goes in and hard codes it, or it can be assigned automatically by a DHCP server. All right, most of the time we're going to use DHCP server in this class, but we are going to make some changes to that here in a couple minutes, so it's important you understand that. Now, when we cloned our machine, we made an exact copy of it, so we're going to have the same IP address and, most importantly, the same MAC address, M-A-C, Media Access Control. Now, what that is, is the MAC address is normally assigned by, or 99.9999% or of the time it's assigned by the manufacturer of the network interface card that we're using in our system, okay? But with VirtualBox, we're tricking things a little bit. So what I have here is I have two computers that have the same IP address and the same MAC address. That is not going to work for us in a lab environment, so it's important that we go in and change that. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's go to our cloned machine, okay, and we're going to go to settings, alright, come down to network, alright, and if you remember we assigned it a net address translation, okay, so basically what's happening there is we're piggybacking on our existing network card. What I want you to do is I want you to click on advanced, and you're going to come down here where the network uh, MAC address is. Okay, and what we can do is we can change that by clicking on this. And if you see here, if you watch right here, you'll see these numbers changing. And the reason for that is, is I want you to have a different MAC address. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to go into our virtual box and we have to change the MAC address. Now when I reboot this machine and start it up, we're going to go in and we're going to change the IP address. The, uh, we're going to go into the static mode and we're going to change it. Okay, but it's very, very important that you change that MAC address right now because if you don't, then your labs are going to get all kinds of. You're gonna, just trust me, man. It's going to be like a soup sandwich. You're going to want nothing to do with this. So go ahead and I want you to change that on yours right now. Change your MAC address and then uh, save your machine like that. Okay, and that's going to uh, that's going to allow you a little bit more flexibility in some of the labs, and you're not going to have any headaches, and your system isn't going to lock up and do some really funky things. So do that right now. Thank you.